Hello friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. You know that we are looking into the biology series of lectures. Today in this video we are going to see respiratory system. For the better understanding, let us see the difference between the photosynthesis and respiration so that you can have a deep understanding friends. Photosynthesis, we know that it occurs only in plants and some chlorophyll containing organisms like cyanobacteria friends and respiration occurs in all organisms even in plants and animals friends whereas photosynthesis reaction takes place in chloroplast of the cell the site of respiration is cytoplasm and mitochondria of the cell you can see you can see uh, if you remember in the lecture of uh, the cell and its structure we have clearly shown what is cytoplasm and mitochondria friends okay at that site of cytoplasm and mitochondria respiration takes place that is cellular respiration in photosynthesis co2 and h2o is utilized to produce the energy here the energy is glucose in respiration it is the reverse process of photosynthesis here the glucose is utilized and release of co2 and water happens friends photosynthesis we know that it depends upon the light friends light light rays whereas in respiration it it doesn't depend upon the light friends whereas photosynthesis is the reduction process in which co2 is consumed and o2 is released oxygen is released whereas respiration is oxidation process it takes oxygen and releases carbon dioxide you know that friends reduction process is nothing but release of o2 or addition of hydrogen friends in the same way oxygen uh, oxidation is nothing but intake of oxygen or release of hydrogen friends okay uh, here we can see is that photosynthesis is endothermic reaction what is endothermic reaction heat or energy taken from the surroundings is called photo endothermic reaction whereas exothermic is opposite for that heat is produced in some system and it, that heat or energy is released to the surroundings photosynthesis is anabolic reaction anabolic reaction is something like uh, it produces uh, glucose or starch or a, a, a compound friends whereas catabolic reaction is breaking down of a complex compound into simple compound here in respiration breakdown of glucose to amino acids is seen friends okay uh, as of now you know the difference between photosynthesis and respiration we can say that it is uh, respiration is opposite of photosynthesis whereas photosynthesis produce glucose uh, and respiration in respiration glucose is break broken down to amino acids and the energy is utilized what is the difference between the breathing and respiration this i have in included that because you should have a insight that respiration is different from breathing or in other way around breathing is a part of respiration but respiration in a whole is not breathing friends breathing is one part of the respiration see breathing in the sense it is just the in inhalation and exhalation friends where gases exchange take place when we inhale we inhale oxygen con contained air and when we exhale carbon dioxide is released in the exhalation friends here we can see that in breath breathing is a physical process whereas respiration is a biochemical process no energy is released in breathing friends but in respiration process energy is released and stored in atp okay friends it is an extracellular process whereas respiration takes place inside the cell friends cell 
within the cell a respiration takes place this is called cellular respiration friends in breathing no enzyme action takes place whereas in cellular resp respiration many enzymes come into play breathing is just nothing but exchange of gases which i have explained whereas in respiration this uh, already contained glucose is oxidized and it produces energy and carbon dioxide whereas breathing it takes place in specific organs friends you know that organs uh, our nostrils larynx pharynx trachea and lungs friends what is external respiration and internal respiration it is same as breathing and uh, external respiration is similar to breathing and internal respiration is similar to respiration friends i have given this terminology because you should not be confused when you see that uh, these terms in the exam friends whereas external respiration you know that external respiration is taking in oxygen rich air and release of carbon dioxide through respiratory organs in surrounding to surrounding medium friends in internal re respiration the oxidation of stored food to release energy in the presence of oxygen inside the cell now we will learn what is respiratory system friends. having a good understanding of photosynthesis respirate respiration external and internal respiration a difference between the respiration and breathing now we will see the respiratory system lungs are the important organs of respiratory system where exchange of gases takes place friends the parts involved in respiratory system which help in exchange of gases are nasal passage pharynx larynx trachea bronchi bronchioles and lungs friends and in lungs we have this bronchi bronchioles and alveoli now what is nasal passage it it's what is its main function the main function is just sniffing friends it is just the inhalation and exhalation of uh, air friends inner cavity of these nasals are lined with mucous membrane friends this secretes almost half liter of mucus daily this prevents particles of dust bacteria and other small organisms from entering into the body friends it makes the air wet and equalizes the temperature of the body friends this mucus uh, prevents the dust particles bacteria and other har harmful small organisms entering into our body friends <clears throat> next the part is pharynx it is situated behind the nasal cavity a common passage for both respiratory and digestive system pharynx comes in the digestive system and this also comes in the respiratory system and next after pharynx we have larynx and the other name for larynx is voice box is a small box and forms a connection between the pharynx and trachea friends what is trachea trachea is similar to esophagus in digestive system in esophagus it is a lengthy tube through which food food will enters into the stomach in the same way trachea is the tubular structure of length 12 centimeters and width or diameter of 2.5 centimeters this gets opened into lungs okay friends lungs are present in the thoracic region thoracic region friends and its color is it's pinkish red in color friends and looks like a sponge and you have to note that right lung is larger compared to the left lung friends right lung is larger when compared to the left lung and each lung surrounded by membrane called pleural membrane friends and the network of blood capillaries in lungs where blood releases co2 and taken action there is a network of 
blood capillaries and this capillaries is very fine and where this carbon dioxide and oxygen is exchanged friends okay and this i have said that this bronchi is also in thoracic region inside the lung friends and trachea will split into two and enters into each lung friends if you see see, see friends the lungs will be like this is the lungs friends here trachea will come this trachea divides into two friends and enters into each lung friends enters into each lung friends air passes through and here this part of trachea is called bronchi friends bronchi and each lung and for this windpipe splits into two and enters into each lung friends this split further divides and redivides and redivides until it was uh, scaled down to the very fine tube called bronchioles friends here you can see this is nasal nostrils pharynx larynx this pharynx is common from where you can see there is a two there is a split here one is for digestive system other is for respiratory system friends from pharynx it will be divided and this is called larynx friends here the wide opening of 2.5 centimeters and 12 centimeters length this is called trachea from trachea it is divided into two it is split into two branches one branch goes for right lung other other branch goes for left lung friends and these these are called bronchi and further divides into small blood vessels and it is called bronchioles further divided into small blood vessels are capillaries and these are called alveoli at the alveoli stage exchange of gases happens friends okay and here we can see that finally bronchi divides into blood vessels and it is called bronchioles and this gives rise to alveoli where gas gaseous exchange takes place okay friends the two types of respiration which we can see is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration if we see anaerobic respiration uh, respiration happens without the presence of air or oxygen it is called anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration is nothing but respiration happens in the presence of air yes friends here where does the anaerobic respiration happens usually this anaerobic respiration happens in the skeletal muscle muscle cells friends and in some bacteria like yeast etc friends here we can see that during this anaerobic respiration only two atp molecules are produced friends here you can see the equation c6h2o O6 which is glucose if undergoes the anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration in animal then lactic acid and energy of 2 ATP are formed adenosine triphosphate friends okay which is called energy currency friends ATP is called energy currency in animals in plants if anaerobic respiration happens then c6h2o6 is con converted into ethyl alcohol and co2 and some energy friends now we will see aerobic respiration aerobic respiration is nothing but if the respiration happens in the presence of air or oxygen it is called aerobic respiration here 
you can see that glucose combines with the oxygen because oxygen is available in the air so complete breakdown of glucose is witnessed in the aerobic respiration and the end products are co2 and water with huge amount of energy how much amount of energy means 38 atp of energy in anaerobic reaction we can see that only two atp molecules are formed here 38 atp molecules are formed because it's of a huge amount is released friends aerobic respiration is divided into glycolysis and Krebs cycle friends in glycolysis is the first step of the breakdown of glucose to pyruvic acid friends in pi for one glucose atom there are two pyruvic acid atoms are formed with, along with two ATPs friends and this doesn't need oxygen so this part of glycolysis is same for aerobic as well as anaerobic reaction in Krebs cycle you can see that one atom of pyruvic acid gives 18 atoms of ATP so two atoms of pyruvic acid produces 36 atoms of ATP friends and totally in glycolysis we have two ATPs and here one pyruvic atom produces 18 atoms we have two pyruvic acid the first step of glycolysis so two pyruvic acid produces 2 into 18 that is 36 atoms here you can see in glycolysis two ATPs are formed and along with this in Krebs cycle 36 atoms totally there are 38 ATP atoms are formed from the one glucose atom friends So let us see the difference between the aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic, we know that it, it it takes place in the presence of oxygen. Anaerobic, it it takes place in the absence of oxygen. In the sense, it doesn't need oxygen, friends. Glucose is completely oxidized in aerobic respiration, whereas it is partially oxidized in anaerobic respiration. It releases CO2 and water and anaerobic releases ethyl alcohol or lactic acid ethyl alcohol or lactic acid friends more energy is released that is 38 atps is released friends here only two atps is released occurs in cytoplasm and mitochondria of the cell it occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell friends it occurs mostly in plants and animals friends anaerobic respiration occurs in bacteria and yeast and some muscles of our body skeletal muscles friends okay what are the different respiratory organs and systems in different living organisms here we can see for unicellular animals like amoeba the respiration takes place through plasma membrane by the process of diffusion friends in tapeworm earthworm and leeches we can say this respiration takes place through skin the gases exchange takes place through skin friends in fish and tadpole tadpole of the frog in, in the frog at different stages of life a tadpole is a stage where it, it is like fish and it respirates through its gills friends for insects like cockroaches and grasshopper the respiratory organ is trachea friends and this system is called tracheal system in amphibians mammals and birds the respiration takes place through exchange of gases takes place through lungs friends so that's it from the uh, respiratory system if you want the uh, PDF uh, you can download from the below link friends thank you 
this small two pages of PDF uh, here for the understanding sake I have given the differences uh, between the photosynthesis and respiration breathing and respiration external respiration internal respiration aerobic and anaerobic respiration along with some living organisms and its respiratory systems uh, this two page of uh, PDF uh, will be applied for uh, free you can download in the below link whereas the whole PDF of the biology notes is also available in the below link uh, I, I <coughs> you can download